So you fell in love with a streamer. While a lesser man would make a joke about this, it's quite the serious problem in the modern day. Especially with internet personalities becoming increasingly popular. Maybe it's the way she talks. Sweet and all, this is for you. The way she looks. The way she laughs. Maybe it'll come in the way she says poggers. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I won't laugh at you anymore, I swear. I just have to get that one out of my system. I swear this is a serious situation. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hey y'all, me here. So you fell in love with a streamer. A VTuber, some fictional character. They're all more or less the same at the end of the day. Now if you found this video from a recommendation or even from searching the title, it's pretty safe to assume that you already know what a streamer is. And I'm not talking about the kind from Party City. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Otherwise, if you just found this video from going on the uh, deep side of YouTube for too long, I'll just give you the basics. A streamer is effectively a YouTuber who live streams what they do, whether that's video game content, just chatting, or a surprising amount of people just sleep. I wish I could be making six figures by sleeping. So without further delay, it's time to head down to our lab, where our premier researcher in the field will teach you the basics about psychology and how they relate to this growing phenomenon. Hey all, me here. Love at its most basic form is a series of neurological impulses that are designed to create a concoction of positive emotions. This is how we differentiate things which are good for us from the bad. This has the side effect of creating emotions. Happiness in response to good, sadness in response to bad. In other words, this flesh sack is why depression exists. To understand the world of love, stalking, and parasocial relationships, we must first understand the anatomy of one living such a lifestyle, the common simp. This specimen has been nicknamed Hey Man, or HB, by our lab. Notice his blank eyes, numb facial expressions, and advanced gamer position. Or as we like to call it, scoliosis. Can you please stop cutting me off every five s- So what could reduce a man to... This? Thing? Well, I'll show you. Remind me why I ever go outside again? So how do you approach this kind of unrequited love? Well first, you have to understand that no matter how much of a personal connection you think you have with the streamer, they do not know you! Like at all! And you probably don't even know them! Yeah, you might know how they walk, talk, or if she prefers a giant banana floaty or a pickle rick, but at the end of the day, you do not know them. They're entertainers, and that's their job, to always be entertaining. You can't know the entirety of a person just from one side of their life. You see them when they're happy, when they're trying to make other people happy. You don't see them when they're sad, when they're angry, when they're upset, when they're annoyed. You do not know a majority of things about their life, no matter how open they appear to be on camera. Cameras can't capture everything about a person. But I prefer a show-not-tell approach when it comes to these sorts of things. So, let's start with step one of how to deal with this obsession. Find where they live. I think I have the wrong script. Amended step one. Don't think about them. Step two. 
That's it, there is no step two. Just don't think about them. That's, it's really that simple. Stop watching their streams, stop looking at things that remind you of them, and most importantly of all, tear down your VTuber shrines because not thinking about them is literally the only thing you could do. And don't think about not thinking of them in case that'll make you think of them. Know what? Just don't think at all. Then you'll have no chance but to not think about them. That's really the simplest solution. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, look at that. I have an outro now. This is, this is my, you're watching the outro. Okay, okay, I can't end the video here. I won't make it to the blessed 10 minute mark. So I'll humor you and see how pursuing this relationship could go. Step one, befriend them. Discord is big nowadays. Try joining their Discord or social media and apply to be a moderator. And it doesn't sound like much, but from that position, you could talk to them occasionally and you can maybe even gauge whether they're into you or not. Step two, find where they live. <laughs> Sorry, but that's it. There's really nothing else that could be done. If they either don't like you or don't immediately fall head over heels with you, it's not gonna work out. Worst of all, if you enter a friendship with the intent of trying to get them to fall in love with you, nine out of nine times, you'll just end up looking like a creep and getting dropped instantly. All in all, it's unfortunate to fall in love, but it's not the end of the world. There will always be other cat girls out there for you degenerates, and there will always be more opportunities to chase those cat girls away. God, I hope my family doesn't see this video. Oh, look at that. I have an outro now. This is, this is, my, you're watching the outro. It's, uh, it's, it, I spent $5 on this. It's, it's cool, right? Now, now I'm a real YouTuber, right? Yay!